Sounds. Here we go. NWA national title Whoa. on the line and trying to close the gap early there. What? Aaron Stevens oh, comes out with the rolling thunder. A la Harold oh. Howard from UFC 1. Oh. Trevor Murdoch, you can see the serious tone, the, the expression on his face. Absolute focus needed if he is going to get a decisive victory over Aaron Stevens. Yeah, Murdoch hasn't played to in, into any of the shenanigans or mind games. He's kept laser focus, even with that start of Stevens rolling straight at him. And now Stevens, though, showing some aggression. Oh, what a haymaker! Wow. Nothing fancy about that, but certainly effective. Big right hand right to that kisser of the champion. You're right, nothing fancy about Murdoch. He was not having fun with any of Aaron's games at the beginning. And when as soon as he found that time to throw that right hand, it found a home right on Aaron Stevens' jaw. And that's the thing about Aaron Stevens. As a competitor, he's clever, but he's elusive. Trevor Murdoch is, like you said, the redneck wrecking crew. He's durable, he's rugged. Sure is. Measured a bit into that kick, went for the test of strength. And look at this, some aggression though. And we've seen how physical and a headbutt. How about that? The champion can be very physical with his striking. We saw it in that just brutal attack on, on Trevor Murdoch with just a series of elbows and elbows and elbows prior to things shutting down. Stevens is, is right in the midst of the fight here, guys. He's not backing down, but he might, courtesy of these big elbows. That punch from Murdoch might have hurt Aaron. He bowed it out for a second, and he came back in the ring a whole nother end. Look at the aggression that he's doing compared to the first 30 seconds to the last 30 seconds. I don't know if I've ever seen Stevens utilize headbutts like this. I don't know that, if, that I want to headbutt the red wrecking crew. And now Stevens dropped these, these shots might be catching up with the champion in a hurry. There was definitely a lot of damage on that that punch just now. You can see Aaron still a little wobbly. But look at this, both champion and challenger, and another big shot, and out goes the champion. You'll recall in a recent, or the you know, earlier matchup for the title, Stevens used a lot of stalling tactics, would constantly go to the outside. Oh, big shot there by the champion. Or would throw Murdoch to the outside, would constantly ask for what the time was, and really was on the run to preserve his title. Right now, you, you gotta think that Murdoch is gonna continue to take the fight to him, just like he did there, hard and heavy into the steps. You know, recently, Aaron Stevens did say that Trevor Murdoch slammed him harder and hit him harder than he's ever been hit in his whole career. And Trevor Murdoch doing the same thing right here at Primetime Live. You know what we might have seen was a little bit of desperation on Aaron after that first punch. If he had said he'd never been hit that hard, he was clocked with that first punch when he got out of the ring. He might be a little bit desperate right now. Murdoch might have him in a much worse position than we realize. Murdoch, total confidence there after another big shot. He's got him right where he wants him, in, in the center of the ring. And again, another big shot. There's two, he's, he's gonna do it all day. And again, look at this. He's got the champion just completely laid out. I'd like to see him maybe go for a pinball and try and win this bout instead of just beat on Aaron Stevens. I've seen too many times where a guy tries to do too much damage to prove a point and well, ends up he costing almost heard, the match. He almost heard you there looking for the victory. And certainly in the past, as I mentioned, time cost Murdoch in that previous opportunity. He had Stevens right where he wanted him when the time limit ran out, then hit the bull, big bulldog after the fact. And now Stevens may be going to try and employ that strategy, going to run. Trevor Murdoch said that this could be his last opportunity opportunity for the NWA National Championship. He's making everything count both inside and outside of the ring. Murdoch just stalking the champion like Jason Voorhees in Camp Crystal Lake. Michael Myers in outfield and he just oh. throws the champion off the ramp. He's down on the floor here in Thunder Studios. The champ goes down in a heap, but the point is you can't beat him out there. Murdoch's got to get him back to the squared circle. He definitely has Aaron in a bad spot. I would like to see him toss him back in the ring, beat him up a little more, and try and get the W. Now, you had said before, Todd, that Trevor Murdoch was trained by the legendary Harley Race. He said Harley Race never ran from a fight. Trevor 
Rupert Murdoch is not going to run from a fight uh, now, but uh, look, he might uh, be blinded. Oh, he did. He, look at the refs fixing the light. The champion shined the light, blinded the challenger, and then took out the knee of the challenger. I mean, you, you might not agree with it, but using his surroundings is the champion. Desperation will make people do desperate things. And we see there Aaron Stevens got a little bit desperate, and, and now it looks like he might be taking control of this matchup. Into the cover, but a kick out at one there by Trevor Murdoch, but that leg's going to be compromised. If that knee is taken out, Alyssa, Murdoch's not getting up to that top rope to deliver that signature bulldog. You know, that's the thing Aaron Stevens said on NWA Power Surge, that he doesn't have to love this to be really, really good at it. He lives that third-degree lifestyle as he just unleashes the back elbows on Trevor Murdoch. But Trevor Murdoch, this is his love. This is his passion. And that's, where we, that's what we saw before in that beatdown of Murdoch by Stevens. Those repetitive, nasty, nasty elbows. And now this is a different Aaron Stevens here, a more impressive Aaron Stevens looking for the win. It's almost like he flipped that switch when he used the light and kicked out the knee of the challenger on the outside. I mean, look at the demeanor change here. Do you, do you often see fighters just completely switch gears and change uh, demeanors in a fight like this? When you see a guy get hurt, you see him do one of two things. You see him start to quit and look for a way out, or you see him do everything that he can to start getting ahead in the matchup. And we saw Aaron do everything that he had to do. Whether it was cheating, it didn't matter. Aaron, Aaron Stevens is willing to do what it takes to make sure that he goes home to the NWA television yeah, well, show. Every, everything he, he was going to use his knee, it looked like, to choke out. Now he's got the world's long, longest third-degree Monrovian black belt. He's choking him out with the black Wait, belt. I don't think the referee can see this. In fighting, we call this the hitman choke. You can take off your jiu-jitsu belt and wrap it around the guy's neck. It's called the hitman choke, but he's using his arm to cover it so the referee can't see the belt underneath and inside of the choke. You can see you know, Murdoch is all trying to signal you know, the official there is absolutely gasping for air as he's being choked out by that by that belt. You can see Murdoch now trying to, to switch some of the leverage and get to his feet. If he can get some kind of level base, now and able to unleash some strikes on the dome of Aaron Stevens. And a big clothesline there by the champion. Rocks the challenger, rocks the redneck wrecking crew. Did he think we'd see the physicality of Aaron Stevens? Shooter Stevens, I guess. Moving up to it right now. Get up, Trevor! Get, get up, up buddy! He's getting vicious. Aaron Stevens came in having a good time with a smile on his face. He looks like he is mad and wants to hurt Murdoch in there. Alyssa Marino coming in. The story very much was the desire of Murdoch to win the title. But now the story might be the desire for Stevens to keep it at all costs. Look out. Big spike buster there by Murdoch. It looks like both of these competitors are just leveled by the impact. Trevor Murdoch, though, able to make it to his feet, but our, our third degree national champion is, is laid out. This has been a rugged war, guys. And then, oh, oh, we'll see if that knee can hold up here. The challenger, you gotta think he's been thinking Bulldog, but not in a precarious position enough was Stevens, but maybe now he is. The big man upstairs, can he hit it? Oh, his body instead. Oh my God. Go. This one they made finally, no. No, sir, not yet. Trevor Murdoch said that there is a certain level of honor and respect within the National Wrestling Alliance. It's a different level. Aaron Stevens was trying to prove that Trevor Murdoch didn't belong on this level, but Trevor Murdoch, oh, 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 he tweaked the knee. Oh, the knee buckled knee on that up and over there. Man, if you can take a guy's wheels out on him, he can't go anywhere. All he can do is absorb your damage. And it might not be the end of this match for Trevor Murdoch. And a little page out of the playbook of the dirtiest player in the game and a fixture in the NWA over the years, the Nature Boy. But that's where the size and weight of the, of the challenger didn't help him there. When he came down, all that pain, it must have felt like uh, you know, a strike of lightning going through the knee of Murdoch. Yeah, I've had a couple knee injuries myself, man, and when you hit it down, it zaps and it buckles out from underneath you. It's, it's a scary feeling. Nasty leg lock, and leg lock and using the ropes for added leverage. Stevens, the champion, has used his resources and his environment like never before in this matchup, Alyssa. You know, on, on Power Surge, Trevor Murdoch said that Aaron Stevens used to be creative, brave, and capable. It looks like we're seeing the shades of the old Aaron Stevens. Stevens kicked out to that ramp and his back hit hard and heavy and we'll see if the gutsy challenger can call upon his fighting spirit 
to overcome this injury and continue to fight on. You know, but I don't know if he wants to give Stevens yeah. chase to the outside. And he doesn't. Uh, I've been wanting to say this for a long time again. Brings him in the hard way. This is where Trevor Murdoch wants to this fight. If he's able to really hurt Aaron Jones and he wants him inside the ring so he can get a win that's going to get him the belt. Takes him down. Full Nelson slam delivers. To date, Stevens hasn't had a decisive victory to retain his title. I don't think he's going to get one if he's laid out on the ground like this. Yeah, he used to consider himself an actor. I think his favorite movie was The Running Man. He, you know, he ran for Murdoch before. At one point, he hid behind a Christmas tree to win the title at End of the Fire. He can't run from this. He can't hide from this. He can't evade it. And all that body weight of the challenger comes crashing down yet again. No water in the pool. More pressure on the knee that had already been tweaked of Trevor Murdoch. Yeah! These guys are very seriously damaged going into these final, this end of them, this matchup. Unbelievable, and the discus forearm there, and, a, and a, just a desperation strike there by Aaron Stevens, doing whatever he can to hold on to the gold. Will he do it? No, a split second, a fraction of light between the official's hand and the canvas, and the challenger fights on. The challenger fights on, absolutely, Todd. You can... What is it? It's got to be some some instincts. Maybe it's just some muscle memory that's leading to Trevor Murdoch still staying alive in this match. It's not muscle memory. It's having a warrior spirit. That's what's great. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Hold on. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Wow. The title changes hands on episode Here three of Prime Time. your winner and new NWA national champion, Trevor champion in Trevor Murdoch. And how did he do it? Grounded in tradition. He called upon those lessons of the king of the great one, the eight-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Harley Race, and he beat him with wrestling. How apropos is that? The fighting spirit of Trevor Murdoch showing that he belongs on this level within the National Wrestling Alliance.